Hey, Monsters, how you doing? Happy Monday. It is the 13th of November. You should have seen the new seating chart as you came in, but we will touch on it here in the vlog as well. Uh, we have a new unit. We have new slides. Unit 3 rolling into Fuse Studio, so that is posted on Schoology or available at the bit.ly that you see on the screen as well as on the agenda board. 3, November, Quebec, Papa, Juliet, Sierra, November. Uh, shouting out those capital letters because the capitals matter with a bit.ly. We are following along on the slides daily activities. Check your emails or Schoology. Support your team. Sit with your team. Work hard. Be nice. Flow your water. Respect our materials. It doesn't say that there on the blog, but it will by the time you're in class. Teach peace. Keep your phones away. If you run into a struggle, go ahead and flop like Rosie. Unit 3, we have several new challenges opening. Look No Hands, which is a do-it-yourself challenge. There is no kit for that. There are no materials provided. Just the directions that are on QStudio.net. Cookie Customizer is a 3D print challenge. You can 3D print anything you design. We do not 3D print things that you copy from the internet. Um, and of course, it's contingent on the 3D printer not being fussy, which it usually is as well. So just fair warning on that. Dream Home is a digital challenge. You get to go ahead and design a house of your own. Um, and it is fully online. It's a CAD program. You need to design the house, put in the furniture, kind of make it all the specs that you want. Beats Builder is a digital challenge. You get to go ahead and pretend that you are a musical DJ. Create your own uh, mix of music online. Friend Finder is kit plus digital. There is a kit component and there's a digital component. The directions are clearer on fusestudio.net, but basically you and a partner work together to go ahead and send messages to each other on a little um, board thing that's associated with that. And then Electrify It is kit only. Uh, for that, you design a, the materials are a, a little picked over, but it should be okay. Uh, for that, you are designing a, a little like pillow or a stuffy that actually can light up. So that's kind of a cool one as well. Those are the new challenges that are opening up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new slides that we have going on here. Here's what the unit looks like. There's a pop quiz sometime this week. Work it out is the theme for today. Projects tomorrow. I hate keyboarding, of course, on Wednesdays is our standard. Level up part one this coming Thursday. And then Friday, Friday, so the end of the midterm coming up this Friday before we go on to uh, fall break. Should drop that into the slides as well. If there's fall break coming up there. When we come back from fall break, level up part two, there will be a pop quiz during that week as well. We're going to wrap it up on November 28th. Unit three showcase prep will be November 30th. We'll talk more about showcase when we get to that time. But basically, it's show and tell what you've done in your challenge uh, so far during this unit. We'll have Showcase and Sheet Day on December 1st, the Summative on the 4th. Unit 4 will begin on December 5th, and so any Unit 3 late work will be due by December 7th at 3.30. Also, Happy Kindness Day. I wore my Mr. Rogers sweater because it's uh, Mr. Rogers' cardigan day, at least according to the PBS in Pittsburgh, his hometown. Let's go ahead and move on from here. Photo credit, as you know, I get my photos from Yahoo Image Search, um, not an official citation, but one that works for teachers. There's your new seats that you should have seen on the way in, as well as when you see that seatbelt sign come on and you hear this sound, that's going to be a reminder to return to your seats. We have something going on that we need to be back at our seats for. Our standards this unit are the same as the last, with the exception of dropping the uh, standard looking at vocabulary. And so that's what they are in plain student language. Uh, of course, your rubrics, you have your weekly fuse preview and summary each Monday and Friday. Uh, we'll discuss what those are in a little more depth as we get through this week. Obviously, you'll have a preview today. Just kind of spill the beans on that. The Fuse Challenge Summative Report rubric, you saw that for the Spaghetti Structures quiz. It's the same rubric. And then your Cheat Day Fuse Makeup Assignment, we'll talk about what that is as we get to Cheat Day. So today, it's work it out. I can use feedback from classmates to make projects and programs better. I can manage my time, consider what I'm working on and how it relates to the outside world. I can see the pros and cons of the challenge I'm completing, and I can create my own work. What skills am I obtaining and or honing through my work infused this week? Toward what century are these skills most applicable? And I can write or speak to what I'm understanding. What are we serving today? Of course, I've been talking way too much. New unit, new teams. We already touched on those. We already reviewed the standards, the rubrics, and the lab rules. So we're up to our bell ringer. It is a drag pull. You're going to go ahead and drag one of these lovely marks that are above my digital head uh, over one of these lovely bells. Oops, lovely bells over here to represent how you are feeling this week. So go ahead and grab Mark Curry, Mark Twain, Mark Cuban, Mark Wahlberg, or Mark Consuelos, and drop them onto one of the bells there on the screen. Or you can do that from your own computer screen. You don't have to come forward to our smart board. And you'll have some Fuse Challenge work time. You're gonna try 
to level up. Although today, I think you're going to be mostly exploring, trying to figure out what challenge you want to work on. And then we'll have an exit ticket for today. One exception, though, uh, I do want to draw your attention to the fact that if you have not yet finished your work from Unit 12, I want you to start there. It's going to be makeup slash fuse challenge work time. So uh, we'll start here with the bell ringer, and then we'll touch on if you're doing makeup work or actually working on something for this unit, uh, this new unit. Have a really great day. Be nice, everybody. Love you. Happy Monday.